Welcome back to Post Time. Recently, I had to fill in for Jennifer Lopez on American Idol. Yeah, I know. What a drag, right? So my friend Sharon Kirby, the famous mother of the famous driver, Victor Kirby, yeah, she filled in for me with my duties. And I sent her on a mission to find out about a record player and a Hall of Fame voice. Hi, Post Time fans. If you were expecting to see Heather, you're not seeing that today. You have two ladies of a certain age who are going to take you back to the glory days of harness racing. So don't turn off that set, Eddie Davis. Gloria and Bobby, move in a little closer. And Stafford Brothers, no, I don't mean Artie and Andrew, I mean Alvin, Arthur, and Ben. Stay tuned, because we're taking you back to the days of Brandywine Raceway. A few weeks ago, Heather did a story on the outstanding females of Delaware Harness Racing. One of those belonged to Judy's family, it was the infamous Quick Lady, and Judy will tell you a little bit about her history. And tonight we have these 50-year-old vinyl discs that were our only option back then because we couldn't get VHS tapes or DVDs. So we have a black and white winter circle picture and our vinyl voice of Roy Shutt who is in the communicator's corner at the Hall of Fame. And the race we are featuring was a A-Pace Invitational, which meant all ages and all sexes, so it was a great accomplishment for a three-year-old filly, especially a Delaware-sired three-year-old filly, um, to actually compete with these horses. And you will see how she did it in a few seconds. Um, I was able to resurrect these records because way back in the 80s, <laughs> just before Brandywine closed, the AV guys, one of them went to a flea market and he collected record players. So for 10 bucks, he sold me a suitcase record player so that we can continue to listen to these wins over and over again. Please remember that all we got was a still picture and a vinyl record. No VHS tapes, but I'm sure many of you will remember the thrill and enjoy it as much as Judy and I did. Yes, and then I want you to all come out to my races. <laughs> to the finals on the 23rd of October for the Trotters. And that's, that's, that day has a lot of meaning for me because my father would have been 98 years old. Um, so it, it's, it's really special. And then the Pacers will go on the 29th. And we hope you'll all come out and Heather will be there to shine the way. Let's listen to the golden voice of Roy, Roy. Shutt at Brandywine in 19... 59. 59, okay. And the result is now official. I guess we approve what uh, Quick Lady can do against class. She won this so simple. And there's the time, 2-2 two, two and 3 fifths. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the fastest mile anywhere in the United States or Canada up to this point for a three-year-old filly on a half-mile track. Quick Lady, three-year-old by Quick Reward out of Roberta Guy owned by Olin and Ruth Davis of Harrington, trained and driven by Olin Davis, the time 2-2-3, two, two, and, and Quick Lady pays 540. Boy, that was a real good bet because she won so easily. I wish Judy were here to see Quick Lady. I know Mike likes tractors better, but even he admits that this filly's something. And of course, Olin and Ruth think they have something tremendous that Quick Lady may go in two minutes. Nobody can dispute him after seeing this little filly just handle these eight pacers so simple. That's all the time we have in this broadcast. Got to leave it. That's all from Roy Shot. Now back to our main studios in Philadelphia. That takes a lot of us back to the good old days. Judy and I grew up at Brandywine, along with many of you who are in the audience today. Always good to listen to the sparkling voice of Roy Shutt. Thanks, ladies. I know a lot of you out there were probably thinking, those were the days. That's my Edith impersonation from All in the Family. Yeah. No? <laughs> okay, well, let's check out some present day action. In here, number one, he's up to something. Has had five wins out of his last 
six starts. The three, time stood still, starts for conditioner, Charlene Sharp, and number eight, Believe This Bob, won this class in his last start, but had the coveted post one in that event. They're off, there goes Handsome Henry K off of the lead. He's up to something with time stood still between horses. They race into the first turn. He's up to something. Time stood still, caught out three wide, Handsome Henry K. They go to the back stretch. And time stood still is up after the lead. He's up to something. He's got the rail. Dropping in there third. Handsome Henry K in front of P.T. Storm. About three lengths. That's Charlie's and Jimmy's followed by Dancing Rusty and Believe This Bob. 27 and three-fifths. They make their way into the far turn. And it's time stood still followed by He's up to something. Handsome Henry K is back to the outside from third. They come over toward the top of the stretch. And handsome Henry K rushes up now to take the lead as they race by the stands. Time stood still, has got the rail. He's up to something, is there third. Coming to the outside, Charlie's and Jimmy's, and handsome Henry K is parked in 56. They go to the first turn the second time. Time stood still with handsome Henry K. He's up to something, followed by P.T. Storm. Charlie's and Jimmy's is on the outside. Here comes Believe This Bob outside and ready to go three wide at any time. Dancing Rusty trails. They duel up the back stretch. Time stood still. Handsome Henry K. And then it's Charlie's and Jimmy's down inside. As he's up to something. There goes the three wide. Charlie's and Jimmy's. Believe This Bob follows. Three quarters, 124 and four into the final turn. Charlie's and Jimmy's. Believe This Bob circling the field now. Midway on the final turn. Here comes Believe This Bob up to get the lead at the top of the stretch. Time stood still, has the rail. Charlie's and Jimmy's with he's up to something along the inside. Coming through the stretch, time stood still. Believe This Bob on the outside. Time stood still with Believe This Bob. Here's the wire. Believe This Bob. 154 and 4. The outside post didn't stop Believe This Bob as he comes from last to first and gets up in the final stride to win by a head in 154 and 4. The four-year-old pacer is owned and trained by Mary Ann Laramore. Believe This Bob paid almost $20 with Alan Davis in the sulky.